Article 5, as previously stated, we won't go through line by line. We'll take a moment just to review it. Move that the town amend fees for permits as delineated in Article 5 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant Article for October 30th, 2014 and incorporate incorporated by reference herein. Is there a motion? Motion. Is there a second? second. Motion in and seconded. Select Board supported this issue. Three in favor, one opposed. Finance Committee uh, supported unanimously. Selectman Mooring, please speak to the issue. Good evening, everybody. This is uh, this article proposes to change the fees that the select board charges for many of the permits we issue. Uh, we actually tried to figure out when the last time was we increased these fees. We found that we haven't increased the alcohol licensing since 1989, and uh, the last time we increased the other fees was 2004. Uh, some of these fees are being increased to their statutory limit according to the state, and uh, we hope you support these. Thank you. Edwin Matuska, 116 Stockbridge Street. So are we just increasing fees because we can just to get extra revenue? Or are there extra costs involved associated with these fees that we didn't have before? We are increasing these fees as we look at what we do. Uh, we look at what other communities are charging for fees. And we also look at what we're expending in costs to actually implement these programs. So as we actually, we brought on more liquor licenses that actually takes a little more time to coordinate those as well. So all this is just more of just covering what our cost is and bringing ourselves more in line with other communities. Kurt Watley, 133 Huntington Road. You kind of addressed one of the questions I had is how does this compare to the surrounding communities? Um, but on an interesting note, uh, all alcoholic on-premise club had no price increase. Everybody else got hit and some, some groups got hit pretty good. What's the deal? Or to quote Edwin Matusko from past town meetings, what's up with that? <laughs> I, I believe that one was already at the statutory limit. From the upper side? Yes. Okay, so how do we compare to surrounding communities? Uh, from what I understand, we actually now will compare pretty well to other communities. Most communities are at the statutory limits on their licenses. Uh, there's a few things we're below and a few things we're above. I don't actually have the actual particulars for each one though. But if you want to, I could get it for you later. Oh, that's fine, thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? How many people in the hall, ladies? I'm sorry, registrars. 130. 130. 128 to 2. Article number six, fees for sealer of weights and measures. Move that the town amend the fees for sealers and weights and measures, permits and inspections as delineated in article six of the special town meeting warrant for October 30th, 2014 and incorporated by reference herein. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Second. Been motioned and second, the select board we're full, full, I'm sorry, two in favor, one opposed, and one abstention. And the uh, Finance Committee recommended unanimously. Selectman Washkevitz, please speak to the issue. Uh, this article helps the town take another step towards establishing, establishing a local sealer and weights and measures program. Uh, at the last town meeting, the voters approved a revolving fund to help run such a program. Uh, this current article sets fees and levels where the revolving fund will be sustainable. There's no impact on taxes for this article. Andy Morris Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. What is Avvo Erdupois? I get 50 bucks. And how do you pronounce it? I was it? to bet in the selectman's office this evening. I didn't have you betting it, though. 
Right. We figured that was your question, Mr. Matusko. I figured that. <laughs> I'll, I'll beat you to it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the, the standard measurements rather than metric or troy or, uh, how are you going to make me say it? Uh, sterling. I'm sorry. Pounds and ounces. Pounds okay. and ounces is what it is, yeah. Thank you. Any further discussion regarding the article? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed. Motion passes unanimously. Uh, number seven is not. They don't have number seven. Article number seven. Move that the town vote to authorize and approve an agreement for payment in lieu of taxes, further to be notified as pilot, pursuant to provisions of general law, mass general law, 5938HB, and any other enabling legislation for a sum certain. $17,850 in the first year to be increased by 2% in subsequent years for a term of 20 years between the town of Hadley and Nextamp, or its successors, for a solar facility to be installed, owned, and operated by Nextamp, or its successors on land located on Mill Valley Road, shown on assessor's map 10A as parcel number 14, containing approximately 46 acres of land, and further to authorize the select board to take any such action as may be necessary to carry out the vote taken herein. Here under. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion in and second in. Uh, the recommendation by the select board is in favor 4 0 and unanimously by the finance committee. Selectman Morn? So this is our third solar pilot we're talking about in this in the town. Um, the pilot is in a, a doc well is a tool that can be used to actually give the developer of a solar project, a upfront knowledge of what he's paying for his property and his actual equipment that he installs on the facility. It also allows the town to have a knowledge of what they're going to get for their um, for, for property taxes on that equipment. So this is a way that it gives everybody a chance to know what you're paying in a business deal to both sides. It makes things a little more knowing upfront. Um, if, if you do it the traditional way, you have to do an assessment every three years. The assessment costs us money to do, and then the assessment may fluctuate every three years based on equipment depreciation and other things. So this is just a uh, sorry. This is just a way to make it more even for the town to know what's coming in and for the developer to know what he's paying out. And we hope you support this. David Albine, Huntington Road. I'm sorry if I missed it. Could you just say where this facility is and how many acres it is and what the rated capacity of it is? Certainly. Um, to the extent that I'm able to speak to that issues. It's on Mill Valley Road, showed on Assessor's Map 10A as parcel 14, containing approximately 46 acres. Is Danny still in the, in the house? Dan, uh, can you specifically list the, uh, tell me the properties to the left and to the right of this? It's land located on Mill Valley Road, right next to the storage facility, between Mill Valley Road and Mill Valley Road and and South Maple Street and South Maple Street. I think you're missing a decimal point. Well, I think it's supposed to be four point six. Huh? Yeah. That land is not 46 acres that we approved. Mill Valley Road. I understand. The property where the solar panels are going is only a 4.6 acre lot, and the size of the facility is 3 megawatts. Thank you. Which proves you right, sir. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? 
Motion passes unanimously.